<clears throat> it's really, really getting difficult to have any kind of reasonable conversation or, or political discourse with, with anyone who, uh, who supports Barack Obama. They, they get just vehement. And so my, my tack on this is that um, I need to not throw gas on the fire, but I need to be very straightforward regarding how I approach who I think Barack Obama is. Um, how and what I think he is, is I think he is a thug, and I think having him as a president of the United States, uh, we would get rid of democracy and move into a thugocracy. I know that the Rachel Maddoxes and Keith Obermans and Chuck Todd's of this world would disagree with me. They are so in the tank for Barack Obama, and the people who listen to the nightly news on the uh, big three ABC, NBC, and CBS are as well. I would ask anyone who sees this, before they pull the lever or punch the button or, or write in um, their little scribble for, for Barack Obama, that they would do their own due diligence, that they would do their own research, that they would get online and find out some facts about this man. His associations, his friendships, and and who and how he has parlayed his way to be a candidate for the President of the United States is unbelievable. It's a story that would be uh, on something of the outer limits or the twilight zone if, uh, if it wasn't true. And it's true, sometimes truth is stranger than fiction. But Barack Obama's entire campaign has been based on fiction. I mean, we can't even know that this man was born in the United States of America. I mean, he couldn't even be his own Secret Service bodyguard because he wouldn't pass the vetting because of his associations with Bill Ayers. Forget about Tony Resco and Reigns and, and all the others or his $800,000 contribution to Egg Corner that he was legal counsel for them and he did this in this election cycle. Forget about all of that or the fact that uh, 10 uh, Egg Corn offices have been raided by the FBI or, or that 13 are under in investigation for voter fraud. Forget about all of that. Just look at how and what he says about the economy, this nation, and where he wants to take us. He doesn't want to take us in the direction of freedom. He wants to take us in the direction of socialism. That's all I've got to say.